DJ Shirts. I'm going to show you to hook up the MP3 trigger from SparkFun to the EZB. This will allow your robots to be able to make sounds and speak without having to use a sound card. The MP3 trigger from SparkFun plays MP3 files off microSD cards. It'll connect to the EZB through a serial port. What I've done is I've used a servo extension cable, cut the end off of it, and I soldered the white wire to the RX of the SparkFun MP3 trigger. I've also soldered the red wire to the USB VCC power and the black wire to the ground connection. For the speaker connection, I've used the end that I cut off of the servo wire and I've put the white wire to this pin here and the black wire to the ground pin there. On the other side, you'll see that it's the headphone jack. And then to have a portable speaker, I've just used another servo extension wire and it just plugs in. So we're going to use this micro SD card inside of the MP3 trigger. So I've put the micro adapter into my computer and now I have some MP3 files that I copied to the drive. So we'll take out the drive, take out the adapter, put it into the MP3 trigger, Connect the MP3 trigger to port D0 on the EZB. Give the EZB some power. The MP3 trigger provides us with this little control, allows us to cycle through the MP3s. So, load up Easy Builder, connect to your EZB. Press your add control button, miscellaneous, and there's an MP3 trigger option. Select that control. Under that, press the configure button. Change to your port that you connected it to. In this case, we connected it to D D0. The baud rate should be left alone, 38400, um, unless you change, of course, your baud rate on the MP3 trigger. But by default, it's 38400, so leave that. Now, when you press any of these buttons, the track in alphabetical and numeric order will play. Now there's a few other things we can do here too. For example, we can control the sounds by using the uh, scripting. So let's say we're going to do um, speech. So I can go voice recognition and then press the configure button. Now by default there's a bunch of commands that already show up. So we're going to make a new one. We're going to say what is your name? And then in the command option, if you scroll down and take a look at the different commands that are available, you're going to see one called mp3 trigger play track. So we can grab that and we're going to say mp3 trigger play track port d0 the baud rate being 3400 and the track number is going to be 6. So now when I say what is your name Wally says his name.